Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Spark, the McDiamond Institute, and the University of Auckland's Faculty of Engineering are proud to present Nano Girl live in Engineering Magic. Not long ago in her laboratory, Nano Girl started experimenting with the effects you will see today. She will be attempting experiments that could be dangerous if you tried them. To be honest, they're quite dangerous even when she tries them. Please, do not attempt them at home unless you are a real life scientist or a real life scientist is supervising you. Please obey all requests from our ushers, scientists and of course Nano Girl. Please do not approach the stage at any time during the performance unless invited by Nano Girl. We want you to stay safe. Please take a moment to locate your nearest exit, which may be behind you. Please check that your safety goggles, ear defenders and hard hats are under your seat and available to you. Now make sure that your mobile is ready to record some of the most exciting science and engineering feats you have ever seen. Claire, curtain in. Claire, curtain in. Come on, Claire. Thank you. Here he comes down. Down. That's perfect. Thank you, Claire. Thank you very much. Okay, the rabbits, where are you? Rabbit, where are you? Come on out. <gasps> there you are. Hi, rabbits. How you doing? Right. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm Wellington welcome to Boris the Magnificent! Yeah! Oh, thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you. Oh, stop! No, stop! No, do stop! No, don't! Carry on! Carry on! Thank you! No, stop! No! Claire! Curtain out! Claire! Magical music! Go! Claire, 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 stop. Wait there, wait there, wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Table, tablecloth, things on top. Took a took a duh. Before you get the tablecloth off, make sure you build suspense. That's what we're missing. Claire, can I have slightly more suspenseful music, please? Oh, yes. Alert. Danger detected. <laughs> Nano girl, help. <laughs> help? What on, what on earth? What? Oh, Claire, lights on. I'm trying to do an experiment with Dr. Susie Wells's glow-in-the-dark bacteria. I need, it needs to be dark and... What? <laughs> Boris. Yes? Why do you have a tablecloth on your head? Oh, I don't know. Ah. Ah. Oh, look at the mess. You ah. had nothing to do with this? Yes, it was. It was something to do with me, I'm afraid. I was trying a magic trick. A magic trick? By throwing vegetables in the air? No, 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 no. I was trying the tablecloth off the table magic trick. Wait, wait, Where you wait. pull it off and everything stays as it is. Oh, how did that go for you? Well, it would seem the trick is broken. Broken? Yes. Uh, I pulled it off and everything stayed in the air, more than anything. <laughs> but I thought you liked science, not magic. Well, I do like I do like science, but I went to the library and got a great book out. 
And now I want to try some magic, you know, Hogwarts, sorting hats, Quidditch, broomsticks, abracadabras, rabbits in hats, appearing lions, all those sort of things. Appearing lions? Okay, never mind. I don't know anything about appearing lions. I don't know anything about magic. But what I do know is a science experiment where you can pull a tablecloth out from on a table with the things on top of it not falling off. Oh, brilliant. Uh, let me have a think. Okay, it's to do with inertia. Newton's first law. You know Newton's first law. Yes. Yes. What is it? It's on the tip of my tongue. It's let about things. <laughs> let me help you. Yes. Newton's first law says that for every action, that objects at rest, like this, at rest. Yes. Stay at rest, not moving, unless not moving. acted on yes. by an external force. Okay. So it moved. And so, in fact, I've got a better way of showing you. Hold on a second, let me think. I need something, I need something. Let me just, let me just grab something here. Hold okay. On. Hello. Cool. What is your name? Robbie. Robbie? Come on up here, Robbie. I'm going to have you stand right there, and you go like this. Ready? Go. And they're going to go. Awesome. So, Robbie, you don't look dressed for it right now, but have you ever been skiing? Yes. Yes, awesome. Okay, I want you to imaginary ski with me. Grab onto your poles. Okay, and we're going to go down here really fast, like this. Bend your knees, go faster. <laughs> faster than that. Now, this may look a little bit strange, but this is really important for Newton's first law. Okay, I like that you already have exper experience. I'm going to give you a tablecloth here. Okay, hold this tablecloth like that. Okay, so we're going to use that same action, and I want you to pretend that they're poles, and I want you to pull it down as fast as you can. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, oh, very good. You have a great technique. Now come over with me here. So if you want to do this at home, what you need to do is grab a tablecloth, preferably one that doesn't have a hem, and grab your family's most expensive china. In fact, let's make it a little bit more dangerous. Something with fluid in, something that spills, it's very expensive. Okay, now, Robbie, what we're going to do is I want you to gather this tablecloth in your hands like that for me. So, the secret is most people will pull a tablecloth this way, horizontally, but you're going to pull it straight down, and the way that's going to happen is you're going to do that skiing maneuver, okay? Have you ever done this before? No, no pressure at all. Just a few thousand people watching you. It's all good. Okay. I'm going to have you gather it up in your hands a little bit more so it's all a bit more scrunched like that. Okay. And I want you to hold it as tight as you can. Now remember, don't pull out. If you pull out, this is going to go there and you're going to get very wet. Okay. So remember the motion. It's straight down as fast as you can. Are you ready? Look at them. Here we go. Three, two, one. Whoa! Very, very wow. Robbie, take a bow. Amazing job. Thank you so much. See? Easy peasy science. Newton's first law. Yes. Exactly. That's a big way. Well, that, well, all that exercise and skiing has made me very thirsty. I have an idea. Yep. Theoretically, mm -hmm. what would happen if you turned that glass of water upside down? I get wet, really, really wet. Like, wetter than I've ever been ever. Okay, theoretically means we think about what might happen. Experimentally means we actually do it. Well, I did think about it and then I did it. <laughs> <laughs> what if I told you I could show you a science experiment where you can turn a glass of water upside down without the water pouring out? Well, that'd be a good trick. A good trick? A great trick. A great science experiment. Okay, a great science experiment. Let me see if I can get something. Uh, what do we have here? Hello, come on up. What is your name? Jake. Jake, come on up here for me. Hey, go, Jake. All right, Jake, come and stand right there. Face them and take a huge bow like this. Woo. So, Jake, are you nervous? Uh. Kind of. That's a good answer. Okay, I want you to not be nervous. Nervous is not good for this experiment. You will get very wet. Here we go. I have a plate attached to a dog lead. You can take a cup attached to some string. I want you to put your hand all the way through. 
all the way through, and then I want you to grab the base there. Perfect. Okay. And I want you to start swinging it left and right and left. And as you are doing that, you are accelerating the plate. Okay. It's getting faster as it starts to spin. And as you are accelerating it, there is a force applied. And that force, because it's going around in a circular shape, is called centripetal force. Have you ever seen people on roller coasters? Right? You know when people go on roller coasters and it goes upside down, do the people fall out? No, because it would be a terrible ride if they did. So the reason why they don't fall out is because of this centripetal force. And to do that, the roller coaster has to go fast enough. You never see a roller coaster go really slow upside down. They go as fast as they can upside down. So speed is the key here. What I need you to do when you have um, some confidence in it, okay, swing it, swing it, is I want you to swing it three times in a row like this, as fast as you can. Ready? One. Two. Awesome. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. We'll work on slowing. Don't worry. Don't worry. Because now what I'm going to do is take this glass of water and I'm going to put it onto your plate here. Uh -oh. So, theoretically, if you spin this fast enough, you will apply enough centripetal force that the glass will stay on the plate and the water will stay in the glass. If, now this is what usually happens, if you go to here and you're like, wow, look at that, that's amazing, and you stop, you're going to get very wet. Okay? So two of us. I need you to be very committed, don't bail, and I want you, whenever you're ready, swing it back and forth, get used to the weight. Okay, get used to the weight. Now remember, don't look up and be like, whoa, just keep spinning. Whenever you're ready, I want you to spin it round three times as fast as you can. Are you ready? All right, in your own time. <sighs> Whoa! 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 Hey! And a finish! Woohoo! Amazing! Now, I just want you to prove to everybody in the audience that we did not stick that glass down. Can you pull it out? And it's not stuck down? Look at that. And that is centripetal force. Take a bow. Very, very good. Thank you so much. See, and you can do this at home. You can take a bucket and put some rope on it. You can get plastic cups and put some string through. The trick is making sure you spin it fast enough so okay. it has oh. enough acceleration. Let's have a quick go. See how hard it is. Whoop. Oh, yeah. That does. That works. Whoa. Oh, 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 oh. Science is magic. Wow. Ah. Oh. Uh, help. 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 Ah. Oh. Oh. Wow. Oh. Well, anyway, he's going to be a bit busy back there. That gives me time because it's, it's the weekend and, well, I've been coding. And you may have met Claire. She's our computer. She helps us around here. And Claire stands for Constantly Learning Artificial Intelligence Repository. The thing is, Claire doesn't have any artificial intelligence. So I've been writing her code so that she can get an upgrade. Let's see if it works. Claire, <coughs> upload artificial intelligence now. <gasps> Hello. Oh. Oh. I'm here. I'm real. Far out. This place is awesome. Oh. Oh. Far out. Nice to see you guys. Wow. And you must be my creator. I am. Oh, what shall I call you? Mum? Mum? No. Nano Girl is just fine. Okay. Nano Girl. It worked. It actually worked. Okay. Let me explain this to you. I have engineered a program to give you an upgrade. That means you are now an artificially intelligent computer. Uh, that means you have pretty much the biggest brain. Yeah. I know. Um, so basically everything that you learn, you keep forever. You can read 15 million books a second. And well, let's get you started. So I am a human. All these people out here, they are humans. And um, well, can we even a bit weird. I can show you how a human visual cortex works. Why don't you pull up for me um, optical illusion number... Mm, let me have a think. How many have I got in there? One, two, three. Optical illusion number one. Sure. Pull it up. Pull 
pulling up Optical Illusion 1. Awesome. So as a computer, when you look at the screen, you will see just shapes, just purple and green, and they're not moving. But humans, humans are weird because when they stare at it, it looks like it's wavy, even though it's totally still. And that's how a human visual cortex is very strange compared to a computer's. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, Rabbit. Right. So we've had a little practice, and now I think is the time for us to do our performance, okay? So you know what you have to do. When I say the magic words, you pop up, okay? So you just go down and hide. They won't see you, and then you pop up when I say, okay? So we're going to put you, just pop me down there. That's it, quietly there. Oh, shh. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to perform for you the amazing appearing rabbit trick. As you can see, I have an empty hat in here. I will say the magic words, rabbity, babbity, appearo. <laughs> okay, rabbit, uh, you made a mistake there. I said the magic words, you didn't pop up, okay? So, we'll try it one more time. These people are very understanding and they want to see you appear, okay? So, we'll try it once more. Okay, down you go. I know, yeah, I know, I know there's not a lot of sound in there. Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you could help me with this, I don't think Rabbit heard the uh, cue line there, uh, the magic words. So, if you could help me by saying Rabbity Babbity Apira with me, it would maybe help Rabbit to hear. Even though he's got very big ears, you would think he'd be able to hear quite well. Let's have a go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, nothing in the hat, the appearing rabbit trick. Rabbity Babbity Apira! I thank you. I thank you. What? Rabbit! What's going on? Look! Shh! Don't be disturbed by them. Look! They all shouted you should have popped up! What do you mean? What, what, what were you doing? You were, What? You were counting your pocket money? You don't get pocket money! You haven't got any pockets! This is my money! This is my sandwich money! What do you look? I think, look, let's go off, have a little rehearsal, we'll come back and give it another go. Should we do that? Okay, so wave goodbye to everyone. Okay, uh, Claire, can you find me a trick to do with a five dollar note, please? Sure. I mean, I'm only the latest in artificial intelligence, literally the smartest computer in the world, but sure, I don't mind doing your Google well, searches well, but, for you. But, 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 but who are you? What, where's Claire? You sound like That's her. That's me. Nano Girls just installed a new upgrade. Oh, no. I am artificial intelligence. Great. The smartest computer in the world. Oh, another I one. I know everything. 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 Okay, well, have you got a $5 note magic trick for me? Miss everything, Noah? You have? Thank you. Right. Let's look for that experiment for you. So you have a look Searching. For it. Okay. Searching, 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 searching. Cats, oh, oh, so many cats in here. Cats, 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 oh. cats, 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 cat with a cat, cat with a dog, cat with three cats, 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 oh. cats. Oh, he's oh, cute. It's a dog. <laughs> oh, I found something. Oh, go on. Okay. This experiment is called burning money. Ooh. For this experiment, you need money, <gasps> yes. flame, and flame. Okay. No flame. Good. I'm buffering. No flame. I'm buffering. Oh, the internet here is so okay, slow. We've got flame. Buffering. Oh, for goodness sake. But okay, money, flame. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Uh oh. Where did that go? Where's, where did that money go? Where did the money go? Where did it go? Uh oh. I'm going to get in trouble. Uh. Oh. Download complete. Now, the point of this simple experiment is that you don't burn the money. What? All you need for this experiment is money, flame, and diluted isopropyl alcohol. Why did you say that? Oh, oh no. Unofficial burning of things in the lab. I'm going to get so busted. Are you, are you making toast? I can smell burning. No. What are you doing? I was just trying a magic trick. Oh, let me see. What is it? It was a vanishing trick. A vanishing trick. I, I made know. a $5 note vanish. Amazing. Where is it now? I don't know. It's gone. I think it got burnt. 
That's not a magic trick. That's just burning money. Yes, it does seem that way at the moment. Uh, you do know that's illegal. And expensive. Okay, okay. That's hold on. Sandwich so money. You were trying to do a magic trick where you burn the money, but it doesn't burn. Yes. Oh, well, that's just a science experiment. Is it? Yeah, let me see. Oh, I have the perfect thing. Okay. What you need is... Well, you need some money. Yep. And some flame. There's some flame. That Perfect. works. Perfect. But the trick involves an alcohol, because alcohol is flammable. So I right. have isopropyl alcohol that you can buy in the hardware store. Okay. And the thing with alcohol is it, is it burns, but the secret ingredient in here is, well, have a think. If there was a fire over there and you were standing next to a bucket, what would you want that bucket to be filled with? Tea. Tea? Well, yes, because then I can have a cup of tea whilst watching the fire. Um, I like tea. Not tea. What else would you probably have close to you rather than the bucket of tea? Uh, I don't know. Uh, bu bucket of what? Bucket of water. Bucket of a water. A bucket of water is what I'd have. Very good. So what we have in here is the alcohol, and it's diluted 50%, so half, with water. Okay. And the reason is that water is very good at absorbing the heat and the energy from the flame. Right. So real $5 note. We're going to dip that into here. Okay. And hopefully, if we have the right proportion of alcohol and water on there, then we should see that the water keeps the note cool while it burns. Huh? Let's have a look. I hope okay. it doesn't vanish. Let's see. I'm going to hold it up here. Five dollar note. And... Huh? Fire, fire, fire. But the note is kept cold. So there's your sandwich money. But here's the thing. You should not be playing with burning money. No. It's an experiment that works really well with a handkerchief. Do you have a handkerchief? <laughs> Funny you should ask, but I do. There we are. You may borrow that one. Thank, Thank you. you very much. <laughs> what is this? It's a string of handkerchiefs. You wanted a handkerchief, I've given you lots. It's not funny. Is this your magic trick? Yes! Okay. That costs a lot of money from the magic shop. Do you have something that isn't a magic handkerchief? Just a normal handkerchief? Just yes, yes. Trying to be I serious, do, do some science. <laughs> There we are. What is that green thing? Oh, uh, a little bit of embroidery. Just, I just like to sew my name onto all my handkerchiefs so I know. Oh, that's very cute. Okay, because it's hot in here. Right. <laughs> so we're going to take the handkerchief and we're going to put it into the diluted isopropyl alcohol. And we're going to do the same experiment again, but because the area is bigger in the handkerchief, we should get a much bigger flame. Ooh. So let's have a look. We're going to squeeze out the excess. And hopefully, if there's enough water on here, we should see that the handkerchief should be kept nice and cool by the water, even though it looks like it's on fire. And the front row should be able to feel the heat because it's pretty hot. Okay, it's still on fire, it's still on fire. And what we're going to do is put it out, and it's cold to the touch. And that is the burning handkerchief experiment. Whoa, let me see that. There's, there's no holes. Well, at least it's nice and clean now and been sterilised. I'll go and put it back in the drawer. I thought it was clean. Uh, yeah, it was. Oh, hey, hey. Uh, yo, hey, Nano Girl. Oh, what's up, Claire? Yeah, sorry to interrupt. It's just, I've just been researching humans and you guys are buzzy. Uh-huh. <laughs> I would like to run my own experiment with the audience. Oh, for sure. Look, they're right there. Go ahead. Okay. Whakurongo mai, Tamariki ma. What I'd like you to do is look at this screen. Whoo. Okay. Looking at the dancer, do you think she's turning to the right or to the left? Ki te taha ma tau, ki te taha ma we. Which one do you think? Okay, hands up if you think the dancer is turning to the right. 
Okay, hands down. Now hands up if you think the dancer is turning to the left. Interesting. Okay, hands down. Or would you look at that? There is no right answer. She might be turning right or left. It's totally up to you. This experiment is all about how your brain interprets what it sees. I told you guys you humans are weird. But awesome. But weird. It's way different for me, a computer. What on earth are you doing? I am levitating an orb. Levitation. You are levitating an orb? Yes. What are you levitating it with? Magic. Ooh. Magic? Yes. Okay. Look how it bids my command. that hoop a second, please. No. Okay, so you're telling me you are levitating a magical orb by magic. Magical, no strings anywhere. So I wouldn't perhaps find a string tied to your shoelace? No. So if I do a little experiment no. where I pull this hoop under the balloon, yes. it'll be totally fine. It will be fine because magic is involved. Ooh. 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 Ah. There's a string. Who put that there? You tied it to your shoelace. Okay, yes, I did. It's not magic. It's just tying a balloon to your shoe. I know, but I couldn't get it to levitate on its own. I needed some help. Okay, look, I, I don't know any magic that involves levitating orbs, but what I do know is that, well, this balloon must be full of a nice floaty gas, because look, it wants to float to the ceiling, um, and it can't because there's a weight on the bottom, so, well, that must mean it's full of a gas that's lighter than air. What do you think might be in it? Helium. Helium? Helium. Oh, Claire, what do we know about helium? It's number two on the periodic table. A boiling point of minus 268.9 degrees Celsius, odorless, colourless, tasteless, and inert. It's one of the noble gases. Noble. The other gas you could have used, the only lighter element than helium, is hydrogen. Ooh. Unlike helium, hydrogen is extremely <clears throat> reactive. Explosive, in fact. Whoa. Nano girl. Yes. What is explosive? Explosive is my favorite. So it's where there's a lot of energy release that can be light and heat or sound. Whoa, 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 whoa. Instead of doing a 20 minute talk about explosions, why don't we just show Claire an explosion <gasps> so that she knows what it is? You mean do an explosive experiment? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. My favorite type of experiment. Let me think. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna need some help. I'm gonna need some help. Hello. What is your name? Jess Kieran. Jess Kieran. Come on up, Jess Kieran. Now, um, are you fully trained in explosives? No. Keep stepping forward. It's okay. Have you at least done a little bit of training? Have you had like something explosive go off in your face recently? No. Don't panic, don't worry. Um, I'm gonna have you stand about here and I want you to face that balloon for me. Okay, we can figure this out. Uh, let me see. Okay, training lesson number one. You're gonna need some safety equipment. So can you put some safety glasses on for me? And these safety gloves. Okay, so we're gonna teach Claire. Uh, Claire, can you put some safety gear on too? We're gonna teach Claire about how to do some explosions. Um, and we're gonna take this balloon. Now, they said out there that this was full of helium, but there's only one way to see if it's full of helium, and I'm going to just give you a very large stick full of fire, um, and you are going to walk towards that balloon and light it underneath the balloon. And if it is helium, it'll go pop, and if it is not helium, it might go bang in your face. Training over? 
Oh, easy. Hold on to these. Simple. Okay, I'm going to put my safety gear on. So we know that helium is not explosive, but hydrogen is. So we're just going to see what is in this balloon. Okay, put your ear defenders on. Can I have some fire, please? Fire. Thank you. Fire. Okay, let's take a step back, step back, step back. Here we go. Are you ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. That's good. Are you all right? I, yeah, I thought you jumped then. Are you okay? <laughs> okay, good news. That must have been a noble gas because it wasn't reactive. So that was actually helium. Um, the thing is, we are teaching Claire about explosive gases and that one's not explosive. So why don't we do another experiment? Boris, can you get the, um, the hydrogen-filled balloon the for me, please? The hydrogen-filled balloon. I can. Okay, so Ooh. we know that hydrogen is explosive. So we're going to do the same experiment again. But, well, there's definitely probably going to be an explosion here. So be ready. Put your ear defenders on. Okay, hold on to that stick very carefully for me. I'm just going to put mine on. All right. Here we go. You might want to go to the end of the stick here. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Okay, so, well that was an explosion and what happened is the hydrogen inside the balloon, it exploded and then it reacted with the oxygen which is in the atmosphere and it's called the combustion reaction where the hydrogen and the oxygen make water, H2O. The thing is, we can make this explosion, well, bigger. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to take that same hydrogen, put it inside the balloon, and then we're going to add some oxygen and we're going to put it inside the balloon too. So instead of having to react with the atmosphere, it's all going to be right there. Um, can you get me the oxygen and hydrogen balloon, oh, please? I can. Okay, step back. I'm going to tell you now that this is going to be an explosion. Claire, this is your lesson coming up. Okay, air defenders on. Ooh. Hold on to that, hold on tight. Ladies and gentlemen, I will either video this or put your fingers in your ears. Here we go. Are you ready? Are you ready? Three, two, one. That was an explosion. <laughs> I get it now. <laughs> I mean, that was loud, but awesome. Uh, just give me a second to get this cleaned up. Oh, all right. Okay, Rabbit. Don't, don't, be, don't be scared. It's all, I know it's a very loud bang, but we'll be okay. And look, I think, I think that bang, coupled with all these people here, have made you a little bit nervous, haven't they? Yeah, so... I think I have a plan for this. Now just relax, you're in good company. I've learnt some hypnotism. So I've been on the internet, I've done a course, 10 bucks, I've got a diploma. So I'm now a fully qualified hypnotherapist. So I just want you to, uh, trust me, yeah, okay, good. So I just want you to follow the swinging medal and become very relaxed and think of a, gr oh, okay. That was easier than I thought, brilliant. Uh, uh, okay, Rabbit, you are very, very relaxed now. And when you wake up, you will wake up feeling as if you are Justin Bieber or Beyonce at a huge stadium gig. And you've been doing it so many times, you just love to appear and perform in front of everyone. Okay, so wide awake. Okay, there we are. So, okay, just calm down, calm down, calm down. Not that much Justin Bieber. Relax, relax. Okay, there we go. Okay, we're going to try it one more time. You know what goes on. In you go. There we are. Stay down there. Okay. Uh, and ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'd like to perform for you the appearing rabbit trick. I think you know how it goes. Rabbity, rabbity, appearo. If you could give me a hand again, that'd be great. Ladies and gentlemen, rabbity, babbity, appearo. I thank you. I thank you. I thank. What? 
Rabbit! Rabbit wasp, look. Okay, look, we did one quick look. You did go off very quickly there. Maybe it wasn't quite enough. I will give you one quick last lesson session of hypnotherapists, of hypnotherapy. Okay, that's it. That's it. Just concentrate on the, uh, concentrate on the middle. Concentrate on the middle. What are you doing? I don't... What are you doing? Hypnotising. Hypnotising what? Hypnotising my rabbit. He's got stage fright, so I just thought I'd give him a little bit of hypnotism. Your so rabbit? I'm fully qualified, yeah. It's your hand. Yes, it's my hand up here, swinging the medal. It, it's your hand on the rep. It's your hand. That's my hand, yeah. <sighs> just holding the rabbit in the hat. Okay, never mind. This. This. What? Is beautiful physics. What is? This. What is, what is it? it? What? Stop with the rabbit. What? Hey. He doesn't know where to look. You've confused him. I'm not talking to the rabbit. I'm talking to you. I'm sorry. Right. This is beautiful physics. Oh. Just... Where did you get this medal from? Oh, it's my hot dog eating medal. 48 hot dogs in two hours. That's a lot it's, of hot dogs. It was. But luckily rabbit helped me with a few of them. But don't tell anyone. It means I wouldn't have got the medal. Okay, very weird. This is actually showing simple harmonic motion. Simple harmonic motion. Okay. It's beautiful physics. In fact, if you put that rabbit away, I will show you a cool experiment. Okay. Uh, get for me the experimental rope rig, and I will... What? Go. Okay, we're going. I will get Claire to 3D print me uh, a nine kilo sphere. Claire, can you 3D print a nine kilo sphere with a little eyelet on it, please? Okay. Spherical mass, spherical mass. Mm -hmm. It's a circle. Of... I have a design for a bowling ball here. Will that do? That is perfect. Thank you. Experimental rope rig coming in! Awesome. Perfect. Your bowling ball is ready, Nano Girl. Oh, magic. Thank you, Claire. Okay. Ooh, perfect. Um, Boris, can yes. you get test dummy 1.2 ready, please? Okay, oh, Mandy, getting ready. Come on, Mandy. Do, do, do. Here we go. There we are. Now, don't forget, this is our last test dummy because we've broken the rest, so this one is very important. There she is. All good. Boris? Yes? Have you been dressing up the lab equipment in human clothing? Yes. And did you put a wig on it? Yes. Isn't that a little bit odd? No. Because Mandy here stays in the lab at night and puts off burglars. She's like a security uh, test crash test dummy. Okay, it's, okay. It's, it is expensive lab equipment though, not for dressing up, okay? Not for dressing up, no, just for security reasons. Okay, come over here. Look, here we have a heavy bowling ball yes. attached to a rope. Yes. And when I let the ball go, it will drop to the ground because of a force called... Heaviness. Not heaviness, no. A force called... Rabbity. Rabbity, rabbity, babbity, apiro! Magic! It's a magical force which is bringing it down. Rabbity is not a force. Try again. It will fall to the ground because of a force called... Gravity! A force called gravity. I knew that. Gravity. Gravity. Okay, so... Gravity. If, if I take this ball over here and yep. I let it go, gravity wants to pull it down, but it can't because it's tied to the rope. So instead, okay. it swings like a pendulum. Ooh. And as it swings, it accelerates, then it slows down, then it accelerates, right. and then it slows down. And so this is a beautiful pendulum. I came in like a rainbow. Ah. Ah. Help, help, help. Ah. 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 Let's go with your feet. Let your feet go. Goodness. Okay. I'm fine. Okay. Okay, we're going to put a new rule in the lab. In fact, perhaps two. Okay. Number one, don't dress up the lab equipment in human clothing. No lab equipment in human clothing. Number two, 
to... No riding the lab equipment. No riding the lab equipment. Oh, OK. Very bad. Go stand behind test dummy 1.2. OK. Because we're going to do an experiment that shows the law of conservation. And the law of conservation says that you can't get out more than you put in. So hold this here. Just like that. Okay. Now, this might look very dangerous to test dummy, but it's not. Because when you let this ball go, yeah. it can't go any higher than it already is because we have no more energy to put in. Okay. And so test dummy will be safe. Fine. So the crucial part to this experiment is when you let it go, don't push it. Just let it go. Because when you push it, you put more energy in. to you, don't push it. Yes. What did you do? Released it. <laughs> With feeling. Would that have been a pushing type of feeling? Maybe a little bit pushy. Just a teeny tiny push. The teeny law of conservation <laughs> says you can't get out more than you put in. When you push it, you put in more. Of course it goes higher. Yeah. Go, go get this fixed. Oh, we need another test dummy. Go. A round of applause for Mandy. No. Oh, goodness gracious. Hold on a minute. Hello, what is your name? Bella. Come on up, Bella. Bella, come and stand here with me. Oh, about, about there. Now, Bella, take a bow. Very good. Um, I have a question for you, Bella. Who did you come with today? Your mum and your sister. Mum, can you give us a wave? Awesome. And you have a sister. Cool, mum, you have another one. This is great. That's all I needed to know. Right, come and stand here with me. Face that ball one step forward. That's just about right, the right height. Okay. So I'm just going to do a little experiment, okay? Uh -oh. oh, yeah, that's a good height. Right. So the only thing you need to do is stand incredibly still. Okay, now some people might flinch a bit because you might see a bowling ball coming towards your face. <laughs> Don't panic, because theoretically this will be perfectly fine. fine. You might want to ignore the last experiment. So what I need you to do is stand incredibly still. You might want to hold your breath, we'll see. Okay, and we're just going to do the law of conservation experiment. Are you ready? Here we go. Okay, Bella, I'm just going to line this up here. Oh, perfect. All right. Are you ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. Ooh. <laughs> Bella, take a bow. Thank you for being our test dummy. And that is the law of conservation. Whoa. That was exciting stuff. Well, I'm glad her head didn't fall off. That'll be even more to clean up. Right, let's see where we've got to. Okay, we've got my book. <sighs> Magic book, done that one. Done just about everything from this book now, except for the rabbit, uh, obviously, but we can come back to that later. There's no panic about that. Let's just uh, uh, index. Oh, here we are. Book two, Dangerous Magic. Audiences love magic tricks that put the performer that's me, in significant personal danger. Brilliant, that sounds great, but I don't have the next book. Uh, Claire, could you help me find some dangerous magic tricks because I don't have the next book, maybe on the internet? Is that possible? Oh, oh yeah. Brilliant. Sounds like fun. Brilliant. I'll just check the internet. Cool. Hmm. Let's get rid of that there, there we go. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. 
Whoa, that's just clickbait. Hello, <laughs> come on up here. Okay. <laughs> What's your name? Charlie, marvellous. Let's see what Claire's got for us, shall we? <gasps> Kia ora, volunteer. Hi. I found three dangerous experiments. Let's start with knife throwing. Oh. What you need for this experiment is throwing knives, a backboard, and a volunteer, which you already have. Why don't you get the volunteer into place, you can help me. and I'll start 3D printing throwing knives. Yeah. Bit nervous. You'll be fine, I'm sure. Let's have a look, perhaps. We have to go into it straight away. Come on this way. Here we go. Your knives are ready. Oh, okay, I'll be there in a moment, Claire. Here, if you just stand here next to the backboard, just put your head by that circle. That's perfect. And then don't move, okay? Just stay exactly where you are. It'll be, here's those knives. Claire's done a good job. Yeah, oh, brilliant. Thanks, Charlie. You, don't move, okay? So just stay there. I think you're going to be a fantastic assistant, but I think we can make it a bit more exciting. <laughs> Okay, there we are. I think I've got the knives here somewhere. Uh, there, they, oh, there they are. Okay, I've got them. Okay, Charlie, uh, you're gonna have to help me out here because I don't quite remember where you were. Uh, no, is that you? Charlie, just say something, Charlie. Okay, over there, that's good. Other way around. Okay, perfect. Okay, okay, Charlie, stand by. Three, two, one. Fire. What? <laughs> oh. Who is this? Oh, I don't know. I can't see her. Uh, oh, I know. I know. I know. It's 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 Charlie. Charlie. Do you know this person? No. What? We, we met over there! Charlie, is this strange man trying to throw knives at you? Okay, come, come with me. This is not how we treat our guests. Boris! What? What are, you, what are you doing? What are the rules of the lab? Uh, no running, no diving, swimming costumes must be worn at all times, no bombing. That's the pool, not the lab. Okay, no running, no diving, no bombing. Lab coats must be worn at all times. Oh, and no riding uh, the equipment or dressing up anybody in costumes. Okay, okay, okay. New rule. Okay. It's, it's the same rules. rule that already existed, which okay. is no throwing knives. I'm going to add an amendment, which is no throwing knives at children, especially if you don't know them. Okay. Okay. Why are you throwing knives anyway? Well, uh, but, uh, it, was, it was Claire's idea. She, I wanted to try some dangerous magic tricks, and I thought that, well, Claire thought that knife throwing was going to be a good idea. I didn't think it was a good idea, nor did Charlie. Don't blame Claire or Charlie. Okay, knife throwing is a quite dangerous, yep. and not the first projectile experiment you need, because knives not. are projectiles. They um, are. But if you want to learn about projectile science, yep. I think we need something a bit softer and a bit squishier. Uh, kittens! <laughs> Can you some kittens? Yeah, kittens would work. Do you have any kittens? No. Okay, do you have anything that's soft and squishy? Uh, oh, yes! Yes, 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 yes! Marshmallows! Marshmallows, okay. marshmallow? marshmallows are soft and squishy. No, oh, that's not. More for the <laughs> Stop it. Charlie, come up here with me. Ignore him and his face full of marshmallows. Um, okay. We are going to make... We are going to make a marshmallow launcher to teach about projectiles. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to launch the marshmallows mm -hmm. using a vacuum cleaner. So can you get a vacuum cleaner, please? Marshmallows, no, not marshmallows, vacuum cleaners. Suck, they don't blow. 
We're going to re-engineer. Get the vacuum cleaner. Charlie is going to engineer something for me. Okay, Charlie. So engineers, they build stuff, okay? And you are my chief engineer today. So you know that vacuum cleaners suck, yes? Well, what I need you to do is help me with this assembly here. So what I have is PVC piping. Can you hold that end for me? And can you place that end into there? Good engineering, thank you. And then we're going to have that piece and it's going to fit right into there. Other way around. There you go, perfect. Okay, so you have just now engineered this PVC tube for me. Now, the sucky end of the vacuum cleaner is here. Agreed? All right, we're going to use that. We're going to put our tube on here. So what's going to happen is when we turn the vacuum cleaner on, it's going to suck down this tube. Okay, we're going to put a marshmallow in the end there. It's going to suck it all the way down. But the secret is we have a little flap of paper here. And that's going to create enough pressure that the marshmallow is going to accelerate and it's actually going to keep going out of the end and not be sucked down into the vacuum cleaner. Okay, are you ready? Now, wait a second. Boris? Yes? Would you like to help us with a science experiment? I would love to. Amazing. Can you put some safety glasses on, please? Always. Safety first, always in the lab. Always important. Safety glasses on. Okay, and can you take a step back for me? Perfect. Okay, Charlie, what I need you to do, I need you to face Boris. Can you face him for me? Take a step forwards. Okay, now he Why are you smiling, Charlie? Stop smiling. <laughs> Hold on to that, put that on your shoulder. Okay, that is your launcher. Here we go. This is how to launch a marshmallow. Projectile science, thank you very much. Okay, clear, clear. Uh, that, you said you had three experiments for me. And that was only one. What's the next one? I've been researching electricity. <laughs> Did you know that when electricity was first invented, people thought it was magical? Magical. Electricity can also be very dangerous. Very dangerous. But that sounds good. I have like dangerous. Electricity is very dangerous and not to be played with, but I have an idea for an electricity experiment. Can you get for me the Van de Graaff generator? You mean the static electricity machine? No, I definitely mean the Van de Graaff generator. Oh, come on. Everyone knows it's the static electricity machine. Here we go. Da -da -da. Thank you. Oh, it's all I'm plugged there. in. There we go, turn that round. It's lovely. Da -da -da. Oh, there we go. Um, did you uh, did you dress up the lab equipment? Uh, yes. It's Sharon. Who's Sharon? This is Sharon. Why did you stick hair onto the lab equipment? Well, Sharon was my very first audience member for Magic Trick, and she was found the whole show electrifying. Terrible, terrible. Okay, at least. This time when you've dressed up, it's been slightly useful because it sort of teaches us about, well, the static electricity. So what's happening is the charge is being separated and the dome has a lot of positive charge. And so opposites attract, but like things, they don't like each other, so they're repelling each other. So the positive charge is building up in the dome and going out into the hair, and well, they're trying to get away from each other. Right. 
Yeah. What happens if we put something on that wasn't tied down? Well, why don't you turn it off? Won't you give her a bit of a haircut? Okay. Come on, Sharon. Snip, 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 snip. There we are. Okay. Bald, bald. A brave new look. I like with short hair. Okay, very good. What we're going to do is we are going to put on something like these metal cups. Okay. And they're not stuck down. Oh, ow. Oh, oh, did I not discharge that? Ow. Sorry. Whoops. No. Give me a shock. Okay, we're going to put these on here. And let's see what happens, because they're not actually... Okay, there we go. Stuck on. Oh, whoa, up, oh! Wow, that was impressive. Let's try one more. Whoa! So what you Lutero. can see is the charge builds up, and they repel each other, and so they want to fall off. Oh, wow. Look at those sparks. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, whoa, that was a big one. Boom, boom. Spark, oh, small one. Biggish one. Is there anything we can use these sparks? Well, this is good fun, but is there anything else we can do with them? I was hoping you would say that. Okay, we're going to take the science lessons I've taught you so far, yep. okay. and we're going to put them together. Okay, so okay. remember in the burning money experiment, we had alcohol because it was flammable. Yes. Okay, there's liquid alcohol in there. Why okay. don't you pour that into that bottle that I've just given to okay. you? Okay. There we are. All right, now I want you to put your hand over the bottle and shake it. <laughs> Doesn't matter which hand. Your hand over the top of the bottle and then shake the bottle. Well, why did you say that? Oh dear. And okay, so what you're doing now is you're turning that liquid into a vapor okay. as the alcohol evaporates. Okay. So we are filling the inside of that container with alcohol vapor. Okay. Okay. So when you think it's all evaporated, okay, put the nearly, lid on top. Okay, it's nearly all evaporated. Lid on top. Amazing. Now, you'll see there's a crocodile clip next to you. I do see a crocodile. Take that crocodile clip, and you will find that there is a screw yep. actually put into the bottle. There are yep. two screws there. Yep. Pick one of them, put okay. the crocodile clip in. Okay. Okay, and now take the other crocodile clip here. Okay, thank you. And then plug it into the other one. Okay. Okay. One. So what we've just done is we've just built a circuit. Okay. Yep. And a circuit means that we can flow electricity from the Van de Graaff generator through this wire into one of those screws. Now, those screws are not touching. They're actually about one centimeter apart. Yeah. And so what's going to happen is the charge is going to go down. It's going to flow through the wire, and it's going to build up in one of those screws. And when we have enough charge, it's going to create a spark that's going to jump to the other screw and finish our circuit. So what I need you to do is turn the Van de Graaff generator on. OK. And we're going to try and build up a charge. Ooh. And, well, let's see. So you know at home when you do cooking with a gas cooker, you get that click, click, click sound? Yeah. That's you making a charge with a piezoelectric material. Okay. And it's igniting the gas. Okay. So let's see what Ready? happens if you try and ignite. You may have to do it a few times. Let's see. Abracadabra, exploso! Oh, didn't work. Okay. One, two, three. But oh, wait, your, your crocodile clip's not clipped on. Uh, that's why it's, it's not, not working. It jumped off. Turn it off wait for there. me, please. Wait there. Don't do anything. Okay, okay I'm not safe. Here we go. Let's try that again. It helps if you actually plug both in. We've got an air gap. Oh, it popped off for you as well, didn't it? All right, there try that. Lovely. You check your circuit. Okay. Check your circuit. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, try again. Happy? I'm happy. Stand clear, stand clear. Stand clear. Right here. Let's do this way. Let's. Okay, I'll turn it up, turn nothing. Okay. Okay, build Static up that charge. Build oh, I can it feel up. it, I can feel it a little bit now. Are we ready? Three, two, one, explosive! Ooh. Nozo! Ooh, another spark. Big spark, big spark. My hair's starting to, I can feel the, the hairs on my arms starting to move, so there must be enough power there. Oh, come Ooh, on! Another spark. Another spark, come on, let's just... This jump. makes me very nervous. Ah! Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> Whoa! That was brilliant! And so that is the burning money experiment and the balloon experiment all combined with electricity. And there you go. Brilliant. That was so much fun. Right, Claire, 
You if said you're you finished had... with the electricity experiments, yes. I'm really excited to share number three with you. Okay. This is a classic death-defying oh. trick that demonstrates the principles of physics. Oh, which principle? There's so many principles of physics. Which one are we demonstrating? Give us a clue, come on. Our third dangerous experiment, the bed of nails. Oh, brilliant. I just had to finish construction. Okay, uh, well, I'll go and get it ready then, thanks. Oh. Oh. Brilliant. Okay, all ready for you both. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Here we come. Shop. Don't wow. on top. Look at this. Whoa, it's like a real bed of nails. Whoa. Okay, that is super cool. Look how sharp it is. Oh, look at those people. Look how sharp it is. Look at all these people. Oh, I'm gonna go in and try and touch one. Let's see. Let's see. It's gonna be really sharp. Here we go. Oh, oh look, it's put a dent on my finger. Dent it, but what are we gonna do what, with this? Let's drop an apple. See how sharp it really is. Okay, let me see. Apple. Okay, apple. Ready? Ah! Oh no! Oh, it's punctured it. Oh, there are definitely some holes in that apple. That is not a happy apple. Oh, dear. Let me think about this. Oh, I have an idea, though. We know that pressure equals force over area. So when you dropped it, there was a lot of force. Try lying the apple very gently onto the nails. Let's see what happens. Perfect. Look, it doesn't puncture. So as long as the force is low enough, then the apple can sit on the bed of nails. That gives okay. me an idea. Go on. I reckon I can lie in the bed of nails. Really? Well, I mean, I've got a bigger surface area than an apple. You I have... do provide more force, but if, if it's the right ratio, then it should work out. Grab me the step. Let me have a look. Okay. The okay. yellow step of excitement. I just have to make sure that I have the right ratio. Hold on to that. Thank you. Right. Mm. So, theoretically, as long as my area is big enough and my weight is low enough, then I shouldn't puncture. Do you think I should sit on it? Uh -uh. I'm just going to try a little, a little bit. I just want to see how spiky it is. Hold on. Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> oh, that's quite spiky. Um, um, but no, I have to, I have to build a bigger area. I can't just sit on it. That's just the area of my bottom. I need, I need my whole body to be committed. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to commit all of my body, all of my surface area at the same time, and let's see what happens. All okay. right, let's see. I'm going to have to do this very, very carefully. Well, it's science, isn't it? So it's it is science. This is a be okay. very dangerous science experiment. All right, are you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Idea. Okay. I have a great idea. I saw it in a magic book. Aha! What is that? Ah! It's a face protector to keep you safe. Safe from what? Uh, just from anything that might befall you. No, what are you oh. doing? Let's try one of these. How's that? Just a board, it's just a board, but it allows me to put more weight on you. Stop pushing my tummy! 
right. Okay, okay that's good. I think that's enough. Uh, do you think? Yeah. I think we could probably just do one more thing. One more. Let me see what I've got underneath here. Just a little thing. Claire has been very helpful. Ooh. Sledgehammer. A what? Uh, a sledgehammer? Yeah. I think we could uh, try and break the block with the sledgehammer. Because then the force, well, it's only a small area, will go through the block, which makes it bigger, and then goes onto the ball, which spreads the load even more evenly across your body. So it should be fine. It should I think. Be. Oh, let me just get some glasses. Safety first. Oh. I don't want anything to happen to me. Right there, glasses on. Okay. Are you ready? Everyone all together. On three. Three, two, one. Wow! There we go. It worked! Yeah! It worked! It worked! Yes! High five! High five! Yes! 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 science experiments just to let you know. Oh, that was good though. Very spiky. Oh. Right. Whew. Right, where are we now? Uh, we've done all the three dangerous experiments. I guess there's no real putting it off any longer. We are going to have to finish off with the appearing rabbit trick. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, you know how it goes. Let's just cut to the chase. Empty hat. Ravity, Ravity, up hero! <laughs> right, Rabbit, right, I've had enough. This is your final time. I'm gonna science you out of there. Right, uh, what have we got? Let's get the compressed air cannon. And let's see what we've got. Let's get the bicycle pump on it. Oh, Rabbit, you are coming out of that thing if it's the last thing you do. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's start try and make this work. Oh, there we go. There we go, right. Let's get some pressure into this little, little hat and see what happens to our friend, Mr. Rabbit. Oh, hypnotist. It's good. Okay, there we are. Let's just slide it out of the way. Right, Rabbit? Time to say hello to the cannon. Are you ready? Three, two, one, Rabbity Babbity Compresso! Uh, where is he? Where is he? Is he there? Where is he? Hello? Have you got him there? No, what's that? It's a tissue! What? Rabbit, where are you? I found him! I found him! Hey, Rabbit! What? Get out of there! Uh, uh oh! What are you doing? Oh. Oh. Rabbit! Oh. Don't touch that! Don't! Oh. Hey! Oh. Hey, you rabbit! Oh. Ra Get away from my stuff! What? Hey! No. You rabbit. better oh, my rabbit. Stop. Oh, my rabbit. Stop it! Oh, my rabbit! Oh, my Hey! Oh, oh. oh. oh you're annoyed oh, no. by that! Um. Get out of here! Uh, hey, um. rabbit! Oh. Where, where are you going now? Please don't touch that! Uh oh! Uh -oh. oh dear! Hey. Hi, Nano Girl! Hi, Boris! Hi! Look at Are the lovely good? theater! Hey! It's been nice! Hey, I can't see you guys! Shh! Claire, shush! What are these? Stop making a fuss! What? 
what are our sponsors oh. doing up on the screen? We're not supposed to be there. Spark, the Diamond Institute, the University of Auckland's Faculty of Engineering, Engineering New Zealand and Beckett. I mean, they're the reason why we're touring around New Zealand, taking science everywhere, but they're not supposed to be in Clare. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh-oh. <gasps> You broke uh, her. I, I think she might have run out of battery or having a little rest. You broke Claire. I'm going to have to spend. I didn't break her. Rabbit broke her. Rabbit's appeared. He came out of the can, and I don't know where he went. There's no such thing as rabbit. Okay, never mind. I can reprogram. It's okay. I can code her this weekend. I came here to offer you a compromise. Okay, I love compromises. I love science. Yes. You want to do magic? Exactly. I can give you a science experiment that looks like a magic trick. Brilliant. Okay. We would call it the production of vapour. Hmm. You would call it the disappearing act. The disappearing act. Brilliant. Like it? I love it. Get some safety glasses on. Oh, where did I put them? Okay, these ones here. Okay, great. All right, I'm going to give you some safety gloves. Safety gloves? Now, we're going to take something that is very cold. Ice. Colder than ice. Two ice cubes. Colder than two ice cubes. The fridge freezer that the ice cubes came out of. Colder than the freezer. A slushy. Colder than a slushy. Uh, what? Milk and nitrogen. Milk and nitrogen. Milk and nitrogen. Not friend. milk and nitrogen, no. Li liquid nitrogen. Liquid, liquid nitrogen. nitrogen. Oh, liquid nitrogen. So we have liquid nitrogen in here. It is minus 196 degrees Celsius. Ooh, that's cold. And we're going to pour some into your bucket here. Okay. Ready? Ready. Hop. Okay, pour some in. That'll do. Thank oh, you. Thank you. That's for you. And pour thank some you. into my bucket, please. Ready? <clears throat> Ready. Pour. Okay, so this is also boiling, even at room temperature, because it's, it's plenty, thank you. It's very cold. Right, and what we're going to do is take that very cold liquid nitrogen, yep. and we're going to put something very hot in it. So you okay. have a kettle of hot water next to you. I do. Okay, so take your kettle of hot water, yep. and get ready to pour it in to the liquid nitrogen. Okay. Now, here's the thing. Okay. What's going to happen is that hot and the cold are going to mix. We're going to produce a vapor cloud okay. and you are going to disappear. Whoa. Magic. If you're going to disappear though, you might just want to say goodbye to those people because you're not going to see them again. Bye everybody. Goodbye. Thank you for coming to the show. Goodbye. Sorry you didn't get to see a rabbit appear. <laughs> Maybe ready? next year. Here we go. Three, two, one. sharing science with you. I'm going to be around for selfies at the end right now. VIP, stay here. See you all soon. We love, I love it. It was so cool. It was really cool seeing how amazing science can be. My favorite bit, you know, like was that cloud thing that was like appearing in um, Nana Girl and Boris. They both disappeared. I was like the part where it was like, I came from like a that was my favorite part too. <laughs> um, when Nanaka went on, this, on this, the bed that had the spikes on. Well, I probably liked everything, but if I had to choose one, probably be the throwing marshmallows. I liked when, like, when they did the fire in the balloon because I, because I liked the explosion. It just exploded. Because it made an explosion. The experiments and the explosions. There was an explosion. There was the pole and the fire and the explosion. I liked how loud they were and I liked how they made it. Probably like, yeah, the, the um, funny guy. Yeah. And the explosions and the marshmallows. I like everything. The experiments were awesome and the explosions and the big cloud of fog. At the end, it was really cool. I've always wanted to be a scientist anyway. Because I want to be like.
Hey, she's really cool. I like her. Just had a selfie with her over there. She's um totally cool, and I just love her experiments. Okay, and when she was on the nail bed, I was so scared that when Buzz was gonna smash that rock, that she was gonna just be pushed down into the nails and die. But it looks like she wasn't. Like how she um thinks about what she can do.